Hey there, hi there, ho there. It's E. Christopher Clark making a video in the backyard once again because the light is awesome and I want to try this out one more time because there were certain aspects of yesterday's video that, uh, that seemed like they were pretty good. There were certain elements that were in focus uh, that were white balanced correctly. Um, and then there was me and my face and and whatever just looked wrong to me and so i'm trying out um something different i'm trying to go back to basics i'm trying to use the built-in camera app um still using the the rear facing camera because that one theoretically should be getting me 4k and and better quality um but uh trying to just use the regular camera app because I think one of the problems with me and technology is the more complicated I get, the more I fuck it up. Um, and that is why I'm a big believer in, in the whole, uh, it's, not, uh, it's not the tech that, that you want, it's the tech that you have. Just work with what you've got. I, I think if I had a $1,000 camera, an $8,000 camera, I, I mean, I guess I do have a $1,000 camera uh, in an iPhone 10. Um, but if I had one of these more expensive cameras, I think I would just find ways to make shittier videos. Um, by trying to use Filmic Pro, the, uh, the app that comes highly recommended from, um, from lots of folks out there, I, I manage to know just enough to make my videos look like shit. I can adjust the, the white balance, adjust the, the, um, the, the whatchamahoosits, and uh, the, the, the exposure, the focus, I just, I can, I can adjust all that and, and then it, it ends up looking like garbage. Um, because I fiddle and I fiddle and I fiddle when, when I am, I am not a filmmaker. I am not a, a pro photographer, right? Um, at least when I can't see myself. So that's the other thing that I've been thinking about is do I need to just give up on using the rear facing camera so that I can be seeing myself right now, seeing that, um, uh, that screen as opposed to, um, as opposed to just imagining or going around there constantly and checking. I don't know. Um, I know that I'm, I'm still talking shop, which is what I said I wanted to stop doing. Um, but, uh, it's just, it's, it's hard not to because this is kind of what I'm learning and what I'm spending my free time on. I'm also planning um, the, uh, the next book in my three books uh, for this year, which is a book called The Seven Wives of Silas Silver, or just The Seven Wives of Silver. I think I've cut the, the Silas part. Um, and uh, I got one more story to write for that. I didn't think I did, but I, I do, um, which is uh, cool. It's challenging because the book's supposed to come out in June or July, probably July at this point. Um, and I wish I didn't have something brand new to write, but when I looked at the whole book put together, one thing that I had in there uh, did not fit, and, and one thing that I didn't have in there needs to go in there just to make the whole thing make a lot more sense. There's bugs crawling on my feet. Um, See me checking my watch, perhaps, mayhaps. Just trying to get a sense of whether or not I've been going on for, for long enough or, or, not, or not long enough. Um, I think I'm going to just go ahead and say it's long enough because even if it's not exactly five minutes, it'll do. I'll de. I'll de pig. Is that a thing? That's a thing, right? I'll de pig. Is that from... But not maybe not with that accent. Maybe I'm mixing up my, my 90s movies. Speaking of 90s movies... Today, I found my graduation ceremony from 1995 on, on the internet. Um, I'm subscribed to the, uh, the local uh, public schools YouTube channel because my kids go to these public schools now. Uh, and I happened to realize that they've been uploading all the old graduation videos, including all the way back to 1995. Yeah. Some, uh, some fun stuff you can find on YouTube to, to horrify yourself on a, on a Thursday afternoon. Go looking for yours. I'm sure, I'm sure it might be out there. 